Hey everyone, this is Raven from DG Integrity. Welcome to Tech News episode 285. Chief Minister of Delhi Arvind Kejriwal on Monday flagged off Delhi Transport Corporation's first electric bus and said 300 more such buses will soon join the public transport in the city. The Chief Minister has added that this was the first bus to be inducted into the DTC fleet since 2011. In the last one year several elements of the crypto space have witnessed a boom in adoption and one of these are called as digital collectibles called as non fungible tokens a 22 year old indonesian college student has made the most of it churning out over a million dollars by selling nfts the computer science student from indonesia converted nearly thousands of the selfies taken over the course of 5 years into nfts and sold them to open sea marketplace a rather expressionless selfie sitting or standing in front of his computer each day between the ages between 18 and 22 he turned these images into nfts and put them on open sea for sale pricing each for rupees 3 dollars that is roughly around rupees 222 the nft collection reached a total trade volume of around 1 million 41325 us dollars that is roughly around rupees 7.73 crore making him a millionaire overnight Jio Airtel Vodafone Idea users are receiving a message regarding free 3 months recharge. This message is in celebration of record COVID vaccinations in the country. However, the viral message is a scam and should not be trusted. Ola Electric halts production of the Vanilla Ola S1 electric scooter. Ola Electric has notified buyers to upgrade to Ola S1 Pro for rupees 30,000. Buyers still opting for the Ola S1 might have to wait for 9 to 11 more months. New electric vehicle norms let any individual set up a public charging station without any license. Guidelines target a PCS in every 3 km range for cities and a 25 km range for highways. The private sector will get land at a bidding price of rupees 1 per unit revenue share per floor. Google has been working on a foldable smartphone for quite some time now and there has been a few leaks related to its upcoming device from the technology giant which has to be far referred as a Google Pixel Fold. The first foldable smartphone from Google won't be a Pixel Fold but will be named as Google Pixel Notepad. OnePlus 10 Pro debuted in China last week with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset, 50 megapixel triple cameras and Android 12 OS. This handset has entered private testing in India and Europe and it is expected to launch by end of this March. OnePlus Note CE2 5G is out of testing and will likely launch in February. There's always a virtually one launch event per month starting January from OnePlus. New smartphones, accessories and TVs are going to launch in the coming months. Realme has confirmed that it has shipped over 40 million number series of smartphones. This announcement has came ahead of the launch event of Realme 9i which will be held tomorrow on January 18th in India. Realme 9i, Realme 9 Pro 5G, Realme 9 Pro Plus 5G, Realme C31, Realme GT2 are all launching very soon in the Asian markets now. Indian launch is also very imminent and loads of Realme launches are lined up. Vivo X80 series specifications outed ahead of this launch. It could come with a MediaTek Diamond T8000 or 9000 chipset and a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor. Vivo X80 will be succeeded Vivo X70 in India. The Oppo Find X5 series launch is right around the corner. Live shots and key specifications of the Oppo Find X5 Pro has surfaced today. It will be coming up with an Hasselblad branded cameras. The Oppo Find X5 Pro will run Android 12 based color OS 12 out of the box and it will be powered by a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor which will be paired with a 12 GB of RAM and a 256 GB of onboard storage. Techno Pop 5 Pro is heading to the Indian smartphone market. The key specifications include a 6.53 inch HD Plus display, 6000 mAh battery, MediaTek Helio A25 processor, 2 GB of RAM and a 32 GB of storage. Techno Pop 5 Pro price in India is expected to be higher than the Techno Pop 5. According to the leaks the box price for the Xiaomi 11T Pro for 12GB RAM 256GB model will get for rupees 54999 actual price will be similar to the OnePlus 9RT and will undercut it with the offers thanks for watching this video please kindly support my channel by giving a like share and subscribe and follow digi integrity on twitter instagram and facebook